Facial recognition technology is getting more popular. It can make people's lives more efficient. But at what cost? Liz McLaughlin explains why some consumers and lawmakers are concerned. More digital eyes know what you look like. As facial recognition is increasingly used in airports, advertising, even schools. Threat detected. The same technology that lets users unlock iPhones and share on social media. On Facebook, the company says they use facial recognition to help you tag photos and for some security features. But there are other potential uses of that data for the millions of Facebook users opted in by default. They have a patent to identify shoppers in stores and link them to their social media accounts. Facebook says it's not doing that yet and that users can opt out of facial recognition features in their privacy settings. That's not an option for law enforcement facial recognition programs. But the FBI says its use of this technology is vital. To investigate, identify, apprehend and prosecute terrorists and criminals. At a House hearing this week, lawmakers were stunned to learn the FBI has a facial recognition database of 640 million photos. That's almost double the U.S. population and includes driver's license directories from 21 states. No individual signed off on that. Now privacy and civil liberties groups are intensifying calls for a ban on the use of facial recognition. And advocates argue there is little transparency about what data is collected and how it's being used. And that's a problem because consumers need to have enough information to make informed decisions. If they can make a decision at all. Liz McLaughlin, Eyewitness News. Advocates are also concerned about hacking because facial features cannot be changed like a password.